Hey, do you have a painful red bump on your eyelid? If so, you might have an infection of the eyelid called a sty or hordeolum. And in this video, I'm gonna share with you my top three ways for getting rid of those styes and possibly prevent them from coming back, coming up. Hey guys, it's me, Dr. Smith, with the Stone Canyon Eye Show, and in this channel we go over the best tips and products to keep your eyes healthy, seeing clearly, and looking good. So if you're new here, consider subscribing, and ring that bell to be notified when new videos come out so you don't miss any. And by the way, watch until the very end of this video where I'm going to go over one of my best treatments that I use in office on my very own patients to prevent those stupid styes from coming back. And by the way, any of the products that I discuss or use in this video, including the equipment that I use to make this video, it's all going to be in the show notes in the description below. So check it out if you're interested. So first of all, we want to make sure that we're talking about a sty or a hordeolum and not something similar called a chalazion. So here's what a sty is. A sty is an infection of one of the oil glands that are found within the eyelids. So there's rows and rows of these oil glands, also called meibomian glands, that go deep into the upper and lower eyelid. When one of those become infected, that's what a sty is. And that content is trapped, or that pus is trapped within the gland itself and cannot express out. And that's what causes that painful red bump. So. Speaking about the symptoms of the sty, here's what the symptoms are. It's usually red, elevated, localized bump on the eyelid that has formed recently and is painful to the touch, versus a chalazion, which is also a localized bump on the eyelid, but has usually been there for quite a while and is not painful to the touch. Another sign of a sty could be a little bump that forms behind the lid. So if this is the lower lid and you have a sty on the lower lid, you pull the lower lid down, you look at the, the red tissue behind the lower lid, you might see a little white bump that resembles a little pimple back in there. That's what a sty can also look like if it's real bad. So here's tip number one, do warm compresses. Here's how you do a warm compress. So get one of these heat masks. I'll leave a link in the description below, or you can find one from your local eye care provider. We sell them in our clinic. You take these, you put them in the microwave for 15 seconds, take it out, put it on the back of your hand, make sure it's not too hot because we're dealing with the thinnest skin on the body. And you wanna make sure it's not too hot so it doesn't burn those eyelids. And then you place it over your eyes and let it sit as you're sitting in a reclined position for a full 15 minutes before you take it off. Do that two or three times a day for a couple weeks or until that sty is gone. And what that does is it helps loosen that little oil cap that clogs off that meibomian gland that's preventing that infectious pus from draining out. It will soften that plug and over time, eventually that infectious pus will drain out of the gland, allowing your sty to resolve faster. Your sty might self-resolve, but it'll definitely resolve faster with warm compresses. And that brings us to tip number two, and that's to do a gentle, and I mean gentle, lid massage following that warm compress. Here's how you do it. So you wanna start out by lubricating the eyelid that is infected right on the surface using a product like this one. This is called Gentil Tears Gel. Even better, Gentil Tears also makes one called Nighttime Formula for Severe Dry Eyes that's more of an ointment consistency like Neosporin, but it's non-medicated and it lubricates real well. Place a little bit of that on the eyelid so it's nice and slippery, and then if the sty is on the upper lid, look down, place your finger at the top of the eyelid, and slowly slide your finger down. And again, be gentle. Do that about five to 10 times following a warm compress. And if the sty is on the lower eyelid, you're gonna start at the base of the lid, look up high, slide your finger upward about five or 10 times following that warm compress. And be patient, and again, be gentle. That sty is not gonna drain when you're doing that. You're not gonna pop the sty. We never wanna try to do that. You might be able to, but it's gonna be rare if that happens. It'll most likely drain while you're sleeping or slowly throughout the day. But doing that gentle massage, especially after that warm compress, will help that little plug that's preventing that pus from draining. It'll help that plug work itself out a little bit faster. And now for tip number three, which I think you're really gonna love, especially if you're dealing with a sty right now that's being stubborn. I have patients where this works, I kid you not, they've tried the steps in tip number three and they've got rid of their sty overnight, but then other people have tried it and it hasn't worked so well, they just have a sty that's a little bit stubborn. For the steps in tip number three, I want you to be especially careful that you've talked to your eye care provider to make sure you have a sty and discuss the steps in tip number three with your eye care provider to make sure you are a good candidate to apply these steps and that it's gonna be safe for you. So that's my one word of caution with the steps in tip number three. 
First, you're gonna clean your eyelashes with a foaming eyelid cleanser or a pre-moistened lid wipe, such as these products here. And then you're gonna soak your eyelid for 10 minutes with an oval eye pad that has been soaked in preservative-free saline. And then you're gonna spray the affected eyelid with a hypochlorous acid-based spray. Close your eyes, aim this at the eyelid, one pump right at the lids and lashes, and you're done. And then you're gonna place an orthoptic eye patch over the eye in order to provide some gentle pressure over that sty all night long. This is a nighttime treatment. And an extra tip that some people do, they'll peel back the inside corner while they're laying down and they'll drop three or four drops of preservative-free saline under it and then they'll seal it off. And hopefully with the gentle pressure of the eye patch and the tissue that's softened due to the moisturizing effect of the soaking and the preservative-free saline underneath the eye patch, that sty will drain as you're sleeping. And your eye care provider might actually opt to lance your sty with a needle by making that upper or lower lid pout and with a needle, lancing that sty, allowing it to drain in office. All right, before we get into the bonus tip, please hit that like button if you feel like you're getting any use out of this video, you're learning something new. It also helps me know if I should continue to make videos like this in the future. And finally, now for that bonus tip. So this is for those who suffer from chronic styes. In other words, they keep on coming back. If you suffer from chronic styes, that means that oil in your meibomian glands is probably solidified and probably rancid. In other words, it's more prone to getting infected. And what you might need to have done is something a little bit more effective than the warm compresses at home that help those glands to express. You might need in-office meibomian gland expression. This is something that we do commonly about every day in our clinic. It's recommended all the time for people that have dysfunctional meibomian glands where that oil has been hardened because it also causes dry eyes. Remember that oil is one of the three components of the tear. It coats the top of the tear film allowing the tear to not evaporate quite as fast. So it's a common treatment that's done as dry eye therapy but also for those who get chronic styes. This is something that I've personally had done on myself twice in the past year and there's no other way to treat evaporative dry eye than to do in-office meibomian gland expression. So ask your eye care provider if you're a good candidate for in-office meibomian gland expression. And if you're someone that suffers from chronic dry eyes, check out the link in the description below for my free ebook, Dry Eyes to Wet Eyes, where I go over some of my top ways for you to treat your dry eyes at home. Okay, so question of the day. How have you treated your styes successfully at home? Let me know in the comments below. As always, I'm here for you and your eye health. If you have any questions for me about what we went over, let me know in the comments below. And in the description below, you'll see the show notes where I include links to all those products that I discussed. And I'll see you in the next video.